If you want to take the anxiety out of dinner and simplify, you need to make this one pot meal. It is filled with protein and hearty greens, making it a very healthy choice for your family. Ciao my friends, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Lucia, I am a chef and a nutritionist. I want to help you make mealtime easy and use healthy ingredients for your everyday cooking. So let me show you how easy it is to put together. Pronto? Allora andiamo a cucinare. So to start, I have a high saute pan that I have on my induction stove and I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And to that now I have an onion that I've diced up, about a medium size is good. Okay, and then to that I'm gonna add um, some minced garlic and I'm gonna use about four cloves. And we just want to saute that just for a few minutes so that it starts to um, cook down a little bit. The thing I love about this meal is that it's so easy. Uh, you can not only make it on your cooktop, but you can also do it in your Instapot. You can do it in your um, crock pot. Whatever works for you is best. And it's really simple because you just throw in all those ingredients when you're working with an Instapot or a crock pot. So now that our onions have caramelized uh, a little bit, I'm gonna add some carrots. And so I've just taken some carrots and just kind of cut them on the, um, the bias. Um, and I've got about four carrots in here. And then to that, I'm gonna add some celery. Again, I've cut it on the bias. Um, I just like the way that it looks. And I've got about four um, stalks of celery. Now you can add however many um, stalks of celery or carrots that you want. This is just a suggested amount. If you want it to be filled with more vegetables, obviously you can add more. Um, and if you only have three on hand, then that's fine. Just add three. Don't worry about getting a whole another bag of carrots for that one. It's totally fine. Then the um, next ingredient is some brown rice. Um, I like to rinse my rice uh, just to get off any debris or starchiness that I can. And we're just going to add that to our pan. And I've added a cup of rice. Okay, so now we just want to mix everything just to uh, get fully incorporated. And uh, to that, we are going to add some um, tomato sauce. Now you can either add the strained tomatoes or the passata, whatever you know you have is totally fine. And I'm going to add, I'm, I usually buy it in the bottle here, so I'm going to add about half a, half a bottle, which is probably about two cups of sauce. Mix that sauce in here. Now we need to add some liquid because we want the uh, rice to cook because there's not enough in the tomato sauce. So I'm just using um, some bone broth. Uh, I've got chicken. You could use uh, whatever uh, broth you would like. Vegetable is also fine if you want to keep it completely vegetarian. Um, you can also use water if you don't have uh, any broth on hand. That's fine too. Just if you're going to use water, you're probably going to want to add some extra seasoning, extra salt, pepper, maybe even some uh, herbs and things like that. Italian seasoning is fine. So just keep that in mind if you're using water. So we do want to add the full um, container of our broth. Now to this, I do want to add about a table, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon of salt. All right, so now we want to cover this over uh, medium low heat and we want to continue uh, cooking until the rice is completely um, absorbed in the water and it's cooked. Depending on the rice, if you're using a white rice or brown rice, I have brown rice, so it's probably going to take anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes to cook. Um, so it, uh, account for that. And then I will show you uh, the next ingredients to add once it's cooked. So mine has been cooking for about 45 minutes. Just take this lid off and we can see all that rice is all cooked and expanded and that's perfect. Now we have a couple more things that we want to add to this. And I didn't want to add it early because it doesn't really take that long to cook. And one of those things is um, chickpeas. So just a can of drained chickpeas. And then to that, I'm going to add some spinach. Um, now this is just the large spinach that you buy at Costco. Um, and I usually add about half of it, so about eight ounces of the spinach. And of course, if you don't want to add as much, you don't have to. You could add less, whatever you like. But I like a lot of spinach, so I'm going to add about eight ounces of spinach. And this will cook down, so you're just going to have to stir it and, and watch it just kind of shrivel up to almost nothing. Cover on for just a second to help it wilt. While it's doing that, I've um, diced up some green onions, about two for garnish. I'm going to also uh, chop some parsley and I want to grab um, a lemon. So we're just going to roll that so we can get a lot of juice out of there. Cut it in 
in half and we'll just set that aside. So we can see it's beautiful, colorful, all that liquid was, was absorbed from the rice. This is such a healthy and hearty meal. Your family's going to love this. Okay, so now that the spinach has all wilted, um, we've tasted for seasoning for salt and pepper. I'm going to plate it and I'll show you how to finish it with the topping. All right, so now to serve it, we just plate it in our bowl. You can see it's very thick, almost stew-like. Got those big chunks of carrots and the celery. And then what I like to do is I like to just garnish with a little bit of parsley. Add a few green onions. I also like to add just a few red pepper flakes. And I'd like to take my lemon and just give it a fresh squeeze. And that just gives it a nice, fresh taste. All right, so let's go ahead and taste this and see how it is. Hmm. That is so good, it's so fresh. I can taste the lemon flavor, which gives it that fresh flavor, plus the parsley. So it feels like it's nice and spring with all these vegetables, and you can taste the creaminess of the rice. Your family's gonna love this. And after an easy dinner, you, of course, you wanna make an easy dessert. So I have the perfect recipe right here for you. Until next time, ciao, ci vediamo dopo.